Welcome back to Bo and Kirsten's Backcountry Kitchen. Today we're gonna to be making a really cool recipe. This one is perfect for backcountry meals, so definitely save this video, print out the recipe, because you're gonna love it, it's so easy. So before you ever leave your house, you want to prep in a small watertight container, a quarter cup of soy, a tablespoon and a half of red wine vinegar, and a tablespoon of hot sauce. And you're gonna just add it to a small watertight container, like I said. Today I just have mine put in a bowl because that's gonna be easier for making it here in my kitchen. But it travels really well and it's so simple. You're also gonna to want to make sure that you pack four tablespoons of sunflower seeds. That's also, uh, yeah, four tablespoons, quarter cup, two ounces. That's all the same measurement. You wanna make sure you have that of your sunflower seeds. You need to have three and a half tablespoons of peanut butter and a tablespoon and a half of brown sugar. So those are your, your sauce prep so easy. So to begin here, we're gonna put, add a little bit of olive oil to our saute pan. And we are gonna be sauteing the sunflower seeds and half of a shallot. So we're gonna go ahead and get that prepped. Um, and you just wanna make sure um, that your pan is warm enough to saute, but you don't want to really burn it because it's really pretty easy in the back country to, to burn things when you're trying to simmer them. At least maybe that's just my experience. If you have, maybe you have a nicer back country pan. If I take my cast iron, I'm fine. Yes, that's why I take llamas. All right, so we're gonna get this shallot diced up and get it going in our pan. Just a minute. All right, now we've got that off there. This recipe actually came from one of our good friends named Ron Bubb, and it is a crowd favorite. Every time he makes it, people just love it. So we've started making it as well, and we love it. And it's so simple to travel with. All right, so there's about half a shallot. All right, in the meantime, I've got some pasta going. We're gonna make about a half a pound of pasta to go along with this. Get this go in here. A nice medium heat. And then we're gonna add our sunflower seeds in there as well. We just wanna let that simmer until the shallot has really broken down and is nice and soft. So we're gonna let that go. All right, now our shallot is nice and softened. We're gonna add our other ingredients. So in goes our water first. We'll throw our water in first. It doesn't like oil and there's oil in there. So be careful so you don't burn yourself. Then in goes our soy, our red wine vinegar and our hot sauce. I'm gonna throw in this peanut butter. and our brown sugar. And then we're gonna wait for that to thicken up. So we'll get it all stirred together and then we're gonna wait for it to thicken up. So it's something that I hope I'm not the only one that didn't know what a shallot is. But when I first read this recipe, I'm like, what is that? It sounds so fancy. I didn't know where to find it in the grocery aisle. So a shallot is just a type of onion and you'll find it in your grocery stores near the other uh, vegetables like the onions and potatoes, it's gonna be right there. And it's because it's just a type of onion, um, it's actually stronger than your regular onions. You don't need very much of it, but you would be able to substitute um, half of a regular onion in here instead if you don't have access to shallots. Uh, it will change the flavor profile just a little bit, but not much. All right, so now that we've got all of that stirred together, we're gonna let it just simmer on a nice low setting. So we're gonna turn this down maybe just a little bit and let it simmer until it starts to thicken up. At that point, we're gonna add our half pound of cooked pasta in there, toss it, and it'll be done. So easy. I know you can do this one at home and in the back country, anywhere you wanna do it. Another suggestion, if you don't like pasta or don't have access to pasta, you could also substitute it for rice. So you could do a minute rice instead of a pasta or regular rice if you have that as well. Um, yep, that's it. So we're gonna wait until that gets thickened up. 
All right, our sauce is nice and thick, so I'm gonna take the heat off of it for just a second while I get my pasta put in so we don't over thicken it. So I'm gonna just put my nice freshly prepared pasta in there. Awesome, get it stirred together. Heat it all up together if you've made them separately. And when you're in the back country, most of the time you just only have one burner. So you're gonna make the sauce first and then pull the sauce off and it can cool down while you make the pasta or the rice, whichever you're making. So you can use that your single burner and then you'll heat back up the sauce and put it in with your finished pasta when you get to that point. All right, getting this all mixed together. Mm -hmm. Five hours later, it will be all stirred. So there are also some different options that you can do. This would be a nice um, vegan type option. There's no meat in it yet but we're gonna add some. So we're gonna add this chicken breast into there. If I'm doing this at home, I would just use fresh chicken, but since this is a backcountry meal, we're gonna use a nice prepackaged cooked chicken. And once I have it all stirred together, I'm gonna just turn on that heat again and heat it all up together. Heat up the chicken, reheat that pasta or the sauce if it got a little bit cooled down. You can also do gluten-free options for this meal. So you can use certified gluten-free pasta and soy sauce, uh, so you can make it gluten-free. So this makes about three servings, unless you're really hungry and then it's only two. Look how beautiful it turned out. So easy, so fast, and an awesome backcountry meal. Try it out and let me know what you think. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys next time.